Liam Fox had apologised and tried hard to hang on to the job, but after a week of allegations about his working relationship with a friend who styled himself an advisor to the minister, Mr Fox resigned. In a letter to the Prime Minister, he said, I mistakenly allowed the distinction between my personal interest and my government activities to become blurred. Adam Werity and Liam Fox were old friends and former flatmates. When it emerged, Mr Werity had accompanied Mr Fox on 18 foreign visits, carrying business cards describing himself as an advisor while in fact having no official role, questions were asked. Werity's own defence industry contacts led to claims of a conflict of interest. His presence at sensitive meetings, a potential risk to national security and a breach of the civil service code. Mr Fox's departure is a blow to David Cameron at a sensitive time. To lose a Defence Secretary when you're at a critical stage in what's going on in Libya, you've still got British troops in Afghanistan, people need certainty, troops need certainty, commanders need certainty. Mr Cameron has already announced a replacement, Transport Minister Philip Hammond drawing a line under a tricky dilemma for the Prime Minister. His initial support for Fox risked undermining public confidence firing him might have created a powerful enemy. I quite understand why Liam Fox has decided to resign, though obviously I'm sorry to see him go because he did a good job at the Ministry of Defence, clearing up the mess left by the last government and giving good leadership to that department. Mr Fox seems to have realised there wasn't a choice at all. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera.